Discover is a powerful tool for content discovery. I've seen it bring as much as 100,000 visitors for a website that was averaging about 500,000 a month. And you'll see such examples very often. I've seen it drive traffic to my smartphone reviews that I used to do back in the day. And you know the best part? The traffic valued the content and engaged with it much longer than any other kind of traffic. Today, let's look at what you can do to help Google Discover drive traffic to your website. I'll also share a few tips to help you optimize your content. Think of Google as a personal recommendation engine. It serves highly personalized content to users based on their interests. Now, this content is not limited to articles, but also features, news, videos, advertisements, and also live event updates in the form of knowledge cards. In order to optimize your content for Google Discover, we must first understand how it works. Google Discover uses information collected from users to serve them with personalized content. Now, it bases this on a user's search history, browser history, such as the sites you visit, app activity, and even your location data. These are then evaluated to understand the topics a user is interested in. The Discover feed then pushes content to the user based on these parameters. So how can you ensure that your content features on Discover? Here are some tips that will help you. You can start with creating high quality, engaging content. Since Google now focuses on recommending content, it looks for high quality, highly engaging one to push to the readers. In order to feature in Google Discover, ensure that you produce high quality content that is capable of keeping the reader hooked onto your website for longer. You can check for engaging content on your website by going into analytics and looking at the average time that a reader spends on a particular page. I've noticed that articles with high average time on site are more likely to feature on Google Discover. You can also use these websites in your analytics to create more such content. Now adding structured data to your article is very much essential. You'll need to add structured data in the form of article schema. Now these schemas are available on schema.org and you will need to apply the right one for the type of content that you've written. The schema helps Google understand the type of content you've created, giving it higher accuracy for recommending it on Google Discover. You should also consider high quality creators. Now, apart from creating high quality content, you'll also need to offer high quality images in your articles. Now, higher resolution images are more likely to catch the attention of a reader on Discover compared to a low res image. Pixelated videos are a strict no-no since they won't help to provide a good user experience. You can also consider publishing on trending topics. So publishing frequently and on trending topics increases your chances of featuring on Discover. Trending topics are more likely to be clicked by readers and as a result, Google puts higher weightage on them and recommends it in the feed. I have seen trending topics with curiosity generating headlines have a significantly higher CTR compared to other stories on Discover. You can also look at optimizing your page experience. In order to feature on Google Discover, you need to ensure a good page load speed and a good page experience. You can use tools such as GT metrics and page speed insights to understand your website's page experience. It is crucial to focus more on the mobile experience since Discover is primarily available on smartphones. I've also created a video on how you can inspect your page load speed. I'll drop that link in the description. Having a strong EEAT signal is essential. Now, EEAT is a term that's been thrown around quite often. It stands for expertise, experience, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. You should highlight the experience and the credential of your authors and content creators to show their expertise in the domain. You should include the qualifications and experience of the author in the bio. Now, this helps establish authority on a particular topic. Websites that showcase strong EEAT signals are more likely to feature on Discover. I'll provide you with an example for a website with poor EEAT. Say an investment advice written on a food blog or say a review of the new Apple Vision Pro from someone who hasn't even used it yet. You're not going to trust it, right? So that is why building expertise and that experience is crucial. 
you should also experiment with web stories. Now, web stories is a new format that is gaining popularity rapidly. Google pushes web stories on Discover more often than articles. So you should explore creating web stories in your niche to boost your chances of appearing on Discover. Do you have another tip? Drop them in the comment and help the community. Goodbye.